So Bulldog Films, that came about because, as it was my baby, so to speak, um, I wanted full control of this project, so I needed to make sure I didn't, you know, hand it to another production company who'd had the say on the, the final outcome of it, because end of the day, it, it's my say so on how this is put together. So we started Bulldog Films, and uh, everything's been done under the control of my company. Soldiers of Embers, so I had this story brewing in the back of my head as every sort of um, filmmaker does, um, but I was obviously quite busy in other projects. Um, then I thought, you know what, it's time to get the story told. So once I got my initial draft, I met with um, director Danny Cotton and uh, we sort of collaborated and we started um, putting the sort of finishing touches on the film. And yeah, we've been through a few crew members for various reasons, but we've now got the perfect team to deliver this project. I mean, it is looking absolutely amazing, as you'll see on the website. And we hit an indie film magazine in LA um, with 1.2 million readers. So you can't ask for more than that. Um, now, I've got some um, collaborations in the pipeline. So I've got some stuff I'm, I've started to draft and brainstorm because um, it's all about British film and showing what we can do. And there's a lot of undiscovered talented people out there and I really want to actually push British film in, in the indie market um, a lot of it is getting out there but I've now got a really good platform and network of contacts to do that so it's just gonna get bigger and better so we've uh, nearly finished filming so it's uh, due for release on stay back stay back Oh yeah, I specialise in action. <laughs>